situation this year. The survey initially analyzed the 2024 rain pattern, revealing a decrease in rainfall compared to the 2023 season. This decline in rainfall resulted in a dry spell that adversely affected crop in 33 states. Additionally, floods were another contributing factor that impacted farmers' output during the season. A total of 31 states spanning 180 local government areas experienced flooding with the Northeast region severely affected. Despite these challenges, there has been notable increase in farmers' output this year. For example, rice farmers in 10 states were able to produce 9.129 million tons of paddy this year, with Niger State leading in production with over 700,000 tons. Similarly, 11.216 million tons of maize were cultivated in 10 states, with Kaduna maintaining its position as the top producer. Sorghum, cowpea and soybeans production also saw increase of 2.56%, 0.24%, and 4.31% during the season. The survey further highlighted that 46 million tons of cassava were produced during this year, with Benue taking the lead in production, followed by Kogi State. Niger leads in yam production, followed by Nasarawa, Enugu, and Edo States. This report showed that 62% of Nigerians are now planting improved seed. And that's a very good increase. Last year we reported, we did the survey, they, it was between 15 to 25% Nigerian using improved seed. Before the next rainy season, we should be able to deliver on that particular platform. The platform is going to bring in all these content from the various subject matter specialists and experts on how farmers are supposed to produce, when they are supposed to produce, and how they are supposed to tackle issues that they will see in terms of disease condition or maybe poor crop performance and whatnot and actions they are supposed to take. I guess that is the kind of knowledge that farmers will need out there to do their own production. There was general increase in cost of production of major crops during the season under review.